Hello and welcome to a new series on this channel. I think I finally found a game that I might like. We'll see about that, but we're gonna give it a chance. I just randomly found this on Steam. It's called The Shape of Fantasy, Vern. It's like a... It's based around Jul Jules Verne's stories, mostly... Uh, it seems like it's based on the 20,000 leagues underneath under the sea i don't remember the name man the book <laughs> but yeah so it's gonna be like a narrative interaction puzzle game based around the book i'm looking forward to it it's pixel graphics i don't know what i think about that but i don't mind graphics that much i don't think it's so important but yeah Let's try this game. It didn't have many reviews on Steam, but it had the few reviews it had, they were good. So I'm hoping I will like it. We'll see. So let's get started and uh, yeah, let's start this journey. Okay, new game. This game saves automatically. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I want to save manually. Okay. Assemble entertainment. Is that's Nemo's ship, the Nautilus, South Atlantic Ocean. The end of the nation is very close, Vern. You are very confident about your triumph. Until we open the chest, we won't know for sure if the compass of destiny is really inside. The chest is in perfect shape after 2,000 years under the sea. No human technology can do that. It's Atlantean, that's for sure. The ship, the inscriptions, all the pieces fall into place. The compass of destiny is inside. We are going to change the course of this goddamn war, Vern. We are going to change history. Take it to Mr. Vern's lab and start maneuvers to ascend for air recycling. This discovery will change it all. Okay. So Vern is a character in his own story, it appears, so it's a deviation from the story, but still slightly based on the story at least. An ocean of despair. I didn't read more than that. March 25, 1888. March 25th, 1888. Scientific officer log. It's a great day for the captain who has asked me to begin documentation while he delivers a speech to the crew in the library. After months of searching, at last he found it. He doesn't have the slightest doubt that the compass of destiny is in his hands. An old artifact that, once released from inside this chest, it is supposed to guide us safe and sound to the flame of Hephaestus, the most powerful energy source in the world. The deadbolt has a complex defensive system and the... Oh no! Mushy Vern, mushy! Yeah. Vern, quick! The nation is attacking us! Not a single Atlantean piece can fall into their... Into their dirty oh, hands! Dear. Merth! 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 I must hurry to recover the IMAG. It, it's inside of the armory safe room, and wait there. It's the safest place around. Mm, just gonna do... First of all, why are you so high? And you, and...
Does this matter if this one is right? This one controls the wall. It's one slide to rule them all. Yeah, but now I'm not hearing anything. I don't know if this was enough or not. A little more. That alarm is annoying me. 32. Okay. Go to the armory. Can I loot stuff on the way? No. Then let's go to the armory. Open. Thank you. Okay. I don't know where the armory is. Nautilus. We are. We all are the Nautilus. Yeah, that's how they get you. I must hurry to the Arpe. Well, I'm doing everything else. I must hurry to the Arpe. Aha! A map. Where am I? That's the lab, so I should be where you are here. So I'm there. Where's the armory? Does anyone see it? Bunks, mess room, da 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 da, armory, left and down. No, blocked. Ah. There's only one way to the armory. Going outside. Ah, oh, shit. How? From where do we go outside? This one? Merde. The elevators are disabled. A merde. How about from here? From the vents? Going down. It's not the answer. It's a cul-de-sac. Should I have looked at the map maybe? Maybe we should do that. How do I get outside? Can I get outside from the lab? Exit, there. See, I need to go up one level. But how do I go up one level? Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. From here, this should be... There should be something here that makes me, yeah, go up. For climbing, use L, blah, 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 blah. Faster, faster, old man. Useless gear ball. Why don't you open? Ah, let's go. Okay, yeah, the one didn't work. Uh, okay. Ladder, please. This alarm is killing me, man. Who dares hitting the Nautilus? There's no battleship that can match me. Well, that doesn't look like a human battleship. That looks Atlantean. Gods, the Valkyrie. It's eerie than I thought. I must get to the front hatchway. The visible icon appears at the bottom left that shows you whether you or not you are visible to enemies. Nah! Why was I so close to it? Okay, we need to stay behind this one, right? Ho oh ho! Oh!
Move, light, move. Oh, this one will never go away, right? Can I jump in here? Oof, I thought it was gonna eject, uh, make me fail again. I don't know the words. Go to the armory. Map, please. You are here. I need to go down, down, down. Ah, like four levels down. This is gonna be a nightmare. It's jammed. Like everything on this ship, it's a jammed. Oh no. Oh, mon dieu. Adam and Sean. This is a massacre. But wait. These bullet wounds on Sean. There are no blood drops around. He was shot after he was dead. That's disconcerting. Sure is. Well, I just want to investigate. I guess we're going down. Who this? Someone got really the massacred. The library access seems clear, but I must reach the armory. I got you, filthy terrorist. <laughs> I so wanted to read a book. That's why. Sorry. Let's just go to the armory without any more interruptions. It's jammed. I have to go down to the armory. Yeah, I know. Maybe I can open the safety hatches from the bridge. Oh my god. It's never ending, man. Go here. No, that didn't work. Go here. Go here. Go. Oh. Okay, up, up. Up, up, left. It's Bell. Is somebody there? No foes here. Who are you? Adriel. Where's everybody? And Nadine? The pilot has disappeared. Very likely she has been captured with the others at the library. What happened? How is that even possible that Where's Nemo? I don't know. The server radars didn't work. Nothing has worked. They crushed us. Damn Raven. The Raven? Mad. Well. That's not the worst of all. The captain has activated the Nautilus self-destruction. What? He will never let his technology fall into the hands of the nation. How much time do we have? Less than ten minutes. Mon dieu! You are the second in command. Can't you disactivate it? Only Nemo knows the code. He told me to protect the bridge to speed away as soon as we release ourselves. But the engines are currently paralyzed until the captain reactivates the core. That's why we're still outside. Oh my god! What will we do? You are the only one who can do something. What? The only what? I'm not a soldier. Well, now you must become one. I will open the hatches to the armory chamber. Once there, take the iMag and do whatever you can to save the Nautilus. B the iMag? It's not a weapon. We barely know how to use it or what it can do. What if it sinks us? What do you fancy more? A quick death beneath the sea or a long life of tortures at one of the nation's penitentiary mines? <laughs> Good point. Move. Can I investigate? No. Nope. Maybe we should stop trying to investigate and just do the objective. Where is the map? I'm completely lost. I still have some stuff to do. I know, but I don't know, don't know where. I am a lost. Should I maybe have gone out the door I came from? What's going on up there?
Mon dieu Are we in the armory now? I guess not. Workshop. Map! You are here. Need to go da- no, I need to go left only. Haha! -ha! We're close! He grabbed that paper with his last strength. It's bloodied. Cool. I want this machine. It looks important. Yeah, nobody's following me in here. Can I pick up some weapons? No. We're going for the uh, chest. The cracks in the flow of reality are detected. No cracks, not the cracks. What is the spell? Oh. <laughs> uh, armory here. Vern, the opter recorders show that the Raven has cornered the captain and the engine core. Go there. I will open the hatch. And what am I supposed to do? Think. You figure something out. You're an imaginative guy. Merd. Well, not with his language. He knows two words. The iMag is an Atlantean artifact capable of detecting cracks in reality and making small rewrites at specific moments in case things get too difficult for you. See to activate. Yes, okay. Uh, I have to activate it. It wasn't so bad. iMag offers logical choices. Explore the world to get more options. Select one, but be careful. Not all of them have a happy ending. How do I... How do I pick those other options there? Yeah, well, I don't know how to pick the options. R and T. R T. It wasn't that bad. Will it hold? What? I don't. S what? Fortunately, damages in the area weren't considerable. Then why did he do that? Well done. Now you must wait for iMag to recharge. If you choose wrong, the iMag may go back a short time, but be aware it doesn't happen often. Happy rewriting. So I chose wrong there, or what? Uh, most likely, yes. It's broken. I could try to fix it with the iMac. See. No spark. The electric board kept withstanding. Ah, my eyes, man. Go to the core. Tried with the iMac. Oh come on, is this your only thing you do now? Just use the iMac, iMac, iMac. Before dying, he released a paper he was holding in his hand. The nation. E. The nation. Ancient Prussian kingdom. So Germans. As usual. Always Germans starting the wars. What? I didn't say that. After years at war, uh, of course, gathered from her defeated neighbors enormous wealth and great scientists whose work allowed her to develop impressive technolo technological advances. Thanks to this superiority, in a few years she annexed a large part of Europe to in, to in 1815. Proclaim herself as the nation. I hate this graphics of the uh, the font. It's hard to read. The only one, the only one, because there can be only one true nation and only one identity that protects the civilized human beings from barbaric savagery. Why isn't the other nations helping me then? Because they seem annoying. In 1835, the nation began her global expansion and the Great Asiatic 30, 30 Years War began. Thirsty, I was gonna read it as, but yeah. In 1816, after the capitulation of the Sino-Japanese alliance and the defeat of Pro Great Russia, not Prussia, 
the nation turned its gaze to the golden empire of Africa. The war spread beyond the continent and the world of Hamira suffered years of atrocities under the nation's rules. Okay, so it's a different history. We're not in our world. Map, please. We're going to the core room. Do you guys see a core room? I see it. I need to go down. And then down. And then right and then up. Down, 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 right up. Should be a ladder here to the left of me. But there wasn't. Where's my ladder, man? There's supposed to be a ladder here. Well, that was wrong. Should be to the left of me, not to the right. This map is faulty. Or I am faulty. One of those. What? Oh, ah, yeah. Ah, shite. How do I get down one more level? I don't see a way into the doctor's room from here. Don't tell me I have to go around. No? No, okay, I see it. Blocked. Ah, shit. How about we use this? Tidy person. Bomb proof. What? I mean, the options doesn't mean much to me. I don't know what they mean. Tidy person. Does that mean a person will come and tidy this up? And bomb proof. Ah, it never exploded. I'm gonna go bomb proof. The explosions didn't affect the Yeah. Room. Ouch. My legs broken. I still have some stuff to do. I know, but you know me. I have to press everything that is possible to press. We need to go down here. Blocked. I can only use the iMag if I know the possible options. I must find another way inside. Oh my god, why you do this to me? How will I find another way? This is the way. There should be stairs here. Nothing is working. I need to use the iMac then. But at which one? Where should I use the iMac? Last action. I don't know what that means, once again. Last action, I mean, does it mean that I will just go up the floor again, or what? Before dying, he left the emergency hatch open. Ah. Well, see, I didn't realize that was his... What the last action meant. How would I have known that? Or is that meter going down? I don't know. Ah, it's the iMac. <laughs> You're scared at me. Fire at will. Don't fire place. at will. Never give them that order inside the submarine. Come on, protect the core. Don't let them take it over. It doesn't work. It must have run out of energy. I could fix the electric board. Watch the flanks. Uh, what? Fix the electrical panel by removing the melted parts. Choose da 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 da. Select da 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 da. Once selected, you can move it da 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 da. Remove them where though? Ah, there's an out there. Select. Deselect. Select. Deselect. 
Select, deselect. Yes! Now let's gear up, up, up and dance. Watch the flanks. For God's sake, watch the flanks. I told you like five times. Oh, nothing here. Or maybe, wait, one moment. It did nothing. Oh, something's cutscene. Oh my god, they look like monsters. You just don't know when to surrender. Isn't that so? Of course not. I still have to finish your face. The Nautilus is at last on the nation's hands. Tell me how to deactivate the self-destruction and take my word as a gentleman. I will free your crew. You don't look like a gentleman, so no. I saw in the penitentiary mind what to free means to you, you damn sadist. Yeah, I will tell die him. before releasing the Nautilus to your masters. It's a shame to end our relationship like this, but... Wish granted, Captain. This time you will not escape. Brothers, take aim! I'm no. gonna turn back time. What am I doing? Burn? What are you doing? What the... Oh, you must be Mr. Vern, and that thing you're threatening me with is the amazing Atlantean artifact I've heard so much fuzz. Release them and get out. Don't move. Get back. 60 seconds to self destruction. 60 seconds to self destruction. Don't be stupid, Nemo. Stop the countdown before we all die. No. Then say goodbye to your dear Vern. No! To use a uh, iMag at full capacity, complete the sequence by pressing the correct symbol before the time runs out. If you find the quick time event difficult, disable them in the accessibility within the options menu. S. S. Ah, Q. S. D. W. A. S. A. Ah! Flashbang! Again? No! Ah, oh, flashbang again. Bird, I will find you. Yeah, he's inside the Behind submarine never still. Displayed that amount of power before. Ah, oh, with great My power comes great responsibility, man. The image that was torturing me over the last months. I didn't wake up until a few hours later. A time that surely Nemo felt was like an eternity. Yeah, we did it. Stage 1 of the Nautilus completed. Chapter 2, Diving into Memories. March 27, 1888. Captain, my take is that the only way to open it safely is exposing it to the iMag. Are you sure? This deadbolt is a piece made by Phobos priests. You're a deadbolt. Their devices were famous for being impenetrable, forged with the remainders of a meteorite if anyone messes with it, it will launch a discharge of an energy that will cause a deep, infinite terror to whoever receives it. An energy that causes terror? That's preposterous. Preposterous. You, but for the Atlanteans, the power of Phobos was real enough. Do you think that fear, destructive imagination, and hopelessness don't exist? Not presented in the shape of fireworks and sparks. If you don't believe me, feel free to break the chest with a crowbar. <sighs> How can the iMag open it? The iMag feeds itself with Mr. Verne's imagination and uses it to creatively change our reality. Therefore, it's a positive force, directly opposed to the kind of energy that the deadbolt uses. I'm reasonably convinced that the energy of the iMag will nullify the one in the lock. You mean, like sand and rust? Could be. The deadbolt is a rusty key, and the iMag, the sand that wipes away when scrubbed. Do it, Vern. 
Here we go, flashbang time. What the? What now? The iMag. It. It doesn't work. It looks like it ran out of energy. That explosion must have dried it up. You must make it work. We must release the compass of destiny from this chest. Shouting at me won't help. Adriel, go and look for Petrov. May he bring the torch and. Captain? I must advise against force opening the chest. Unless you want to lose your mind, what is imperative now is to find an answer to why the iMag is dead. If you have any theory, spit it out now. It's possible that, given that the iMag gets its energy from the imagination of its host, the problem is inside your mind, Vern. In my mind? Thanks for the yes. insult. That's true. You talked about hallucinations. Yes. For an instant, this is the thanks you get Paris. for saving them. I had a Whoa. similar vision at the island. Do you remember seeing something like this in your vision? It certainly has a likeness with the shadow I saw at the bridge, but are you telling me that I saw Phobos, the Atlantean god of fear? Fear is a narrow description of what Phobos was really to the Atlantean people. It was Plesia, then, then? He was the destructive imagination, the one born out from despair and angst. You could also say that his sister Placea, however, represented fantasy. But the truth was that she was perceived there you as go, the you source got the of answer. the creative imagination, the one that thrives from hope. I think that Atlanteans believed that the balance between the two brothers dictated one's own sanity. Didn't you say sister? If Phobos has broken that balance in your mind, that would explain the IMAG silence. Mythology? You're talking about mythology? I don't believe in Phobos, hence it's impossible that it's harming me. The thing here is, you are afraid. Too much fear inside you. Until you don't master it, I'm afraid that the iMag will never work again. I refuse to believe in Hocus Pocus. And how can you explain the iMag blast? It saved your life. I don't question that the Atlantean technology doesn't work. What I mean is that- Enough with the debate! We are losing precious time. What matters is that the iMag only works with you. It's obvious that your hallucinations are a symptom of some kind of disorder. Visit Dr. Cedric and get yourself a neurological check. That's an order. All right. You, Adriel, check the reparations. We must keep afloat for two days until we get to the base. We must assume that Commander Hetzel is not far from us. Yes, Captain. Why are you still here? Aren't you bothered by the way we were attacked? They fell upon us too easily. It's more than probable that there was a traitor on board. A traitor? In the Nautilus? Never. I have personally chosen each member of this crew. There is no question that the nation has found a way to decode our communications. Um, I envy your confidence, Captain. But you should be aware that during the attack, I found that someone shot Shun's body after his death. I believe that the murderer was trying to hide the fact that he was killed before the boarding. God damn it. Let's keep our eyes opened. If there is a traitor in such a small space, he or she will be exposed sooner or later. God damn it! God damn it! Gah! All right, I think I'm gonna stop here for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, I think it's an interesting game. I'm going to continue playing it. So yeah. I hope you'll join me. See you in chapter 2. Bye bye.